while another heat wave is going to impact the West Coast, who is it going to impact? When will it cool down, Jeff? So this is a really big heat wave that's on the way, an extreme heat wave. It starts right about now and it ends on Monday. And during that time, we're going to break dozens and dozens of records. Now, compared to the Pacific Northwest heat wave, this is not quite as extreme. But in any given summer, it would typically be extreme. But it's the third heat wave we've seen. So it just seems like a broken record, doesn't it? So we have this horrible drought, the worst <laughs> in does. recorded history happening in the West right now. Yeah. And then on top of that, look at these high temperatures, Lana, during the day tomorrow. 116 in Vegas, 112 in Palm Springs, even Oregon's 98. Not nearly as hot in the Pacific Northwest. The real crux for this heat wave is in the southwest, the Great Basin, and into California. And as we head into Friday, similar temperatures. Death Valley could hit 128, not out of the realm of possibilities. It gets to 130, which was that crazy temperature it hit last summer. So, you know, we're just defying the odds and we just keep having these horrible heat waves across the West. Well, Jeff, the World Weather Attribution just came out with a report on the impact of climate change on the North American heat wave in June. Tell us more about what researchers found. Well, this is no surprise. If you were watching CBSN a week ago, I told you that this was likely a once in a thousand year event. Well, this group of 27 scientists from around the world analyzed this event to talk about the and look into the climate change contribution. They found it indeed is a once in a thousand year event, but not a once in a thousand year event in the 1800s, a once in a thousand year event, even in our warmed climate right now. So what were the chances that something like this could have happened, let's say, 150 years ago? Maybe a one in 150,000 chance, if not even more than that. So they also found that, that this heat wave has made at least 150 times more likely because of human-caused climate change. And in addition to that, they found it was at least several degrees hotter because of human-caused climate change. And then the last part of this, which is probably the, the most concerning, they find this once in a thousand year event this year by 2040 could very well be a once in a five or once in a 10 year event to break records by you know nine degrees all time records by nine degrees like we did in portland is something as a meteorologist i thought i'd never see all these climate scientists they thought they'd never see it but here we are climate change is impacting the climate a lot faster than perhaps our computer models were showing and that climate scientists thought it could. Yeah, Jeff, you know, to that point about first being a once in a thousand year heat wave, now becoming a, by 2020, by 2040, you said, a once in a decade uh, event. I'm wondering, mm -hmm. is it too late for us to reverse this? No, it's absolutely not too late. And believe it or not, we have all the technology we need, right? We need to transition over to renewable energy so we're not putting out as much carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere. We have the technology. The market is moving in that direction. Electric cars are obviously gaining popularity. Uh, we can produce electricity with solar and wind, wind turbines and solar panels. So there's a lot of reasons to be optimistic because the price of solar and wind have dropped below that of most fossil fuels right now. And people are going to love the convenience of electric cars. It's just a matter of kind of switching our thinking and being willing to make that transition, which we need to do very quickly. But we can do it quickly. And if we do do it quickly, not only will it create millions of jobs, but it will also save us from a lot more climate warming and catastrophic impacts that are going to come if we continue business as usual. The good news is we can better our lives in many different ways by switching over to renewable energy. And we can save ourselves, save lots of species, and save humanity, to be honest with you.